a small island in the Atlantic, which belongs to Portugal, has been advertising for some time that it is the absolute paradise for digital nomads. And indeed, the number of remote workers in Madeira has increased rapidly in recent months. Let's find out what advantages this dream island offers to digital nomads. As a popular travel destination, Madeira offers a variety of activities and places worth seeing. Hikes, water sports or even a stroll through the city are possible on the island. Hiking is as much a part of a stay in Madeira as the sea. Here you can hike past beautiful forests and waterfalls. Also, canyoning is a popular activity in Madeira. Water sports such as diving and surfing can also be tried out or regularly experienced. Another advantage is that Madeira has pleasant temperatures all year round. In addition, the island is a green plant paradise and offers breathtaking nature. The Startup Madeira Initiative and the island's government launched a pilot project called the Digital Nomads Madeira Island in early 2021. With this project, they want to attract digital nomads from all over the world to work in Madeira. The little town of Ponta do Sol, now known as the Digital Nomad Village, was chosen as the base for the project. This place is located directly on the sea, has a lot of sunshine all year round, and is perfect for a more quiet lifestyle. Also, the internet connection here, but also on the rest of the island, is good and secure. The goal of the project is to bring digital nomads together with local businesses and residents of the island. The government wants to create a community of people who have a strong positive impact on the village. Anyone who takes part in the program as a digital nomad can live in one of the advertised accommodations, get free internet, enter co-working spaces, and can take part in cultural events. The good weather, activities in beautiful nature and cultural opportunities make Madeira the perfect destination for digital nomads, as many travelers now say themselves. The island's capital city is also very popular with digital nomads. Located in the south, it is known for its gardens and harbor. In this city you will find many affordable accommodations, and of course there are also some co-working spaces here. You can work during the day and enjoy the vibrant nightlife at night or explore the city and culture at the weekend. Since Portugal is part of the European Union, citizens of the European Union don't have much of a problem staying in Madeira long term. If you want to stay in Portugal for more than three months, you have 30 days after these months to register and approve your right of residence with the government. Some digital nomads also benefit from the tax advantages. This is a traditional meat dish in Madeira, beef is skewered on a stick and roasted over a brazier. Potatoes or corn are often served as side dishes. Also typical for Madeira is, of course, fish. The swordfish is not found in many places, but it is in Madeira. It's seasoned and breaded with bananas. A specialty that every fish lover must try when visiting this island. And that's why I think you should put Madeira on your travel bucket list. If you have been there yourself and know secret places, share your experiences in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get inspired to work from anywhere.